Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here with some trumpet mouthpieces. And I think these are extremely usable. They fall in the middle of the range. In fact, uh, two of them are sevens, which is, um, you know, used to be the starter mouthpiece was a 7C, awfully deep. They tell me that the uh, cup of a 7C is actually deeper than that of a 3C. The diameter is not quite so large, however. The first mouthpiece, which really is uh, probably as far as um, recent releases uh, in the last 20 or 30 years, my favorite 7C is this Con or CKB, I think it was Con, King, and Benj that went together. Um, pretty deep mouthpiece. Actually, uh, I thought that would be a 27. It might be a 26 drill. Great piece. Got a little weight to it. You can see a uh, heavyweight piece. This one I got gold from uh, gold plated off of eBay a few years ago. It did not break the bake. Seems to me it was around 30 or 40. Everything does go up. All right, I'm going to play an old gospel chorus by and by when the morning comes, and we'll play in the meat of the range, probably not a whole lot uh, over the top of the staff, but the money range, I think some people would call this, where you really live and die when you're playing. And I think all of these get good, um, good sound. We've got, of course, the CKB. Then I'm going to play a straight Bach 7. We've got a Reeves 42B, great mouthpiece. And one that I recently got in that started the whole thing is a Wick 4. Great mouthpiece. Okay, we'll start off again with the CKB7C. And uh, by and by. <laughs> Okay, that is the CKB-7C, very nice mouthpiece. Of course, they make it straight silver plated and then they have some gold plated ones. If you can ever pick up a used one at a fair price, as far as the 7Cs go, I think it's a great piece. Now, years ago, I uh, picked up a cornet used, of course, and uh, there was a box seven there, and I happened to be on Trumpet Herald, one of my favorite sites, and I saw a trumpet mouthpiece that was a seven. So I've got two of them that are exactly the same if I'm comparing a trumpet. In fact, uh, here a while back I had a, still have them in fact, Olds Recording Trumpet and Olds Recording Cornet, and I used the box seven on both of them. So you'd have a very similar mouthpiece. I like this, and strangely enough, this is supposed to have a one drill larger size than the straight 7C, but actually, this is the, sl the tightest throat uh, backboard drill of any of, the mouth of these four mouthpieces that I've got. And so, although it is a deeper cup than the 7C, I try and get them right next to each other so that you can see, uh, although it is a deeper cup, um, it's a slightly tighter drill size, and the throat is a little bit tighter. So you get actually, the smaller drill size seems to brighten it up a little bit. The depth would naturally give it a little warmer sound. It's kind of a trade-off, but we'll see what you think.
Boy, I like that. I really do. Um, I hope it comes through. It's just a tad sharper, believe it or not, or a little more brilliant, it seems to me, than the CKB7C. All right, another great mouthpiece. Uh, Reeves is not known particularly, although he does have some classical versions of the 7C and the 3C. I think most of his mouthpieces are known for their commercial quality, and um, this is his 42B. Uh, big mouthpiece, very deep for Reeves, and um, in fact, quite similar in the cup to the Bach Straight 7. Let's see if we can get him there lined up. Um, definitely a little uh, more relaxed throat, and um, just a great mouthpiece, really a, a nice piece. So the Reeves 42B. <clears throat> I like that, I really do. Now the reason I started off with the CKB and the uh, Box 7 is because they're the smaller rims. The uh, 42, I'm using a 41 uh, rim on a 42 under part, works fine for me. There's a fraction of a difference in size, but uh, not too much. But it is, it seems a little larger than the straight Box 7. And it's hard for me to start large and go to the smaller mouthpiece. Now the Wick 4 is, um, Definitely the larger diameter. I suppose it would be close to a Bach 5, maybe even close to a Bach uh, 3C diameter. Um, slightly tighter throat, and uh, I think it is, well, it seems very close to the um, same depth as the 42B of Reeves. Maybe the uh, wick is a fraction shallower. Lovely piece, extremely comfortable rim, uh, definitely a little larger than I'm used to playing with, but not much, and uh, the rim is so comfortable. I think it's one of those that kind of uh, hides the exact size that you're working with. Nice cushion to it, and I'm certainly impressed. Hadn't played a wick in uh, years, but um, I have enjoyed this one very much, the wick four. Okay, I played all of these four. I uh, meant to mention it when I started out. This is my trustworthy old Carol Brass. It's a 5,000. 
It's the um, large bell, which is uh, patterned, they say, loosely after a Strad 72. Got about a uh, five inch flare to it, 460 bore. Really um, enjoy this horn. I did get it just a tad bit of red rot in the lead pipe, but um, marvelous horn. And with uh, good cleaning, it'll, um, it'll last me for a long time. Now there is also a YouTube that shows how to make your own lead pipe swab. And this has got, you get some chamois, you get a shoelace. Um, I kind of differentiated, I got some fishing weights and uh, works really good. Great way to clean your mouth or your trumpet lead pipe before you're through, take care of the slide at the same time. Tim Went, a professional trumpeter, also offers a lead pipe swab at trumpetherald.com, does a magnificent job. Uh, it's really a great piece. If you're not a do-it-yourself kind of guy, you can go to trumpetherald.com in the marketplace and just Google swab, S-W-A-B, and um, I think you can find it there. Tim is a uh, outstanding trumpeter, has a great product. We do want to keep clean horns. As Rafael Mendez once said, cleanliness is next to godliness. He was talking about tonguing, which is very important as well, but a clean horn is a uh, horn that will last you a long time. As always, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it if you can hit the like button. If you don't like it, find another video and hit the don't like for that. Um, one question before we go. Do you know what type music balloons dislike most? Pop music. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being with us, folks. Hope you have a great day. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, subscribe if you like. I've got another uh, uh, mouthpiece demo that we'll do tomorrow, four mouthpieces that are along the more commercial line. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you stay safe, take care of yourself, and as always, have the best day you can.